Hi, my dear loved ones. Uh, I like to. T I want to give you. I want to give you an example of how to solve an inequality. Okay, an inequality is again. It's just an expression that involves uh, less than, you know, less than or less than or equal to, or greater than or greater than or equal to. So it doesn't. It's it's it's. This is all. So anything where you got less less less. It, it, that's what it is. An inequality. Is anything that is any expression that involves less than, less than, equal to, greater than, or greater than, equal to. And in this example, in this example that we have here, uh, we have an inequality because we have a less than. Okay, so that's what you want to recognize. Now, the way we solve inequalities is the way we also solve, you know, equations like, you know, the way we solve equations. So, for example, you know, Example, if I asked you to solve minus 3x equals, say, 6, well, you know how to solve for this equation. You just divide both sides by negative 3, and, you know, and you, you solve for, you get, then you can get x, which is uh, negative 2, right? But it's the same idea here. The tools that we use to solve equations apply to inequalities, except that, except that when we multiply by a negative number or divide by a negative number, we have to sign. We have to reverse the sign of the inequality, and it, it, this will make more sense with this example that I discussed here. Okay, so uh, if you look at this, I'm gonna. What I want to do is I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna give negative two a color, so I'm gonna call negative two a color. So I'm gonna change. I'm gonna write negative two, just red, so it makes it easier for you. Uh, and then I'm gonna change this to say green, because oh sorry, well, I'll change this to green. So I'll change this nine, this black nine to green. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve for x. So what we want to do when we're going to solve by this inequality, what we want to do is, you know, we want to find, what we want to do is, you know, get x by itself. Okay, so how do we get x by itself? Well, if I asked you, if I asked you this, how do I get x by itself? Well, if I asked you to do this, if we got negative 2x and I equal, say, 9. Well, how would I solve for x? Well, I'll divide both sides by negative 2, right? So divide this side, left-hand side by negative 2, and divide the right-hand side by negative 2. And what I get is x equals, and if you put in your calculator, 9 divided by negative 2, negative 2, that'll give you negative 4.5, right? But what about, the, it's the same idea here, right? So, okay, let's look at this. So if I have, I'm gonna write here. So I have negative two, I have X, okay? And I have, let's say my green nine, okay? So let me get my eraser out, right? Well, I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna, to get rid of this negative two, I'm gonna divide, the left hand side by negative two. And I'm also gonna divide the right hand side by negative two. But what will be the inequality? Would it be less than or greater than? Let me, let me go right. It's gonna be because you divide the left hand side by neg a negative number and the right side by a negative number, the, the sign of inequality is gonna be, be reversed. So what's gonna happen is that instead of being less than, it's going to be greater than. And the reason is, is I'm going to write this as a note, because we divide, we divide by a negative number. Okay? Right? And so now what happens? This negative 2 cancels this negative 2, and so you get x bigger than, and a nine divided by negative two will be negative 4.5, okay? Exactly, it's the same as solving inequality like this, right? But the thing is you have to remember is that you have to, you have to remember that when you divide by a negative number or multiply by a negative number, you have to reverse the sign of this inequality. Since, notice that, since I divide the left-hand side by negative two and the right-hand side by negative two, this inequality is not gonna be a less than, but a greater than, okay? So that's the, that's the trick. Uh, I hope you like this video. I, so my question is, um, the, 
if I might, uh, so I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, if if you have if you have any questions about this particular concept, about this concept, you can write it in the comments below in the comments. Uh, please uh, subscribe. I also request that you subscribe to my channel so that that'll help my channel a lot a lot. And please hit the notification bell so you're notified of my videos. And if you think this video will help other people, share it with others that might benefit from this. And also, you also comment. See, uh, comment. Com if you feel like uh, feel like there's any ways I can improve in my videos or the way I teach, you can also comment as well. And again, just to remind you that if you need help with high school math or if you need help with high school statistics, uh, please email me. My email is in the description below. I hope you have a wonderful day. May the math force be with you.